Are you ready for this? Nope. Still more ready than you were for your AP exams? Yup. Good enough for me. Let's go. Hello, everyone. Ladies, gentlemen, honored guests, parents, the celebrated class of 2023, and most importantly, my mom. Hi, mom. My name's Saloni Somya, and my partner here is Macy Wanning. We'll be your host for this wonderful ceremony. Before we begin, we want to make sure that there will be no unwanted interruptions. So if you haven't already, please take this time to silence your devices. Macy! Mom, not right now, I'm emceeing! That was embarrassing. I'm so sorry. Anyways, can we take a moment to appreciate how cool this place is? It is crazy we're standing here at U.S. Bank. We'll get used to it. With four years of college to pay for, I have a feeling we will be seeing a lot more of the bank. Speaking of paying for post-secondary plans, let's take a minute to thank everyone who is helping us with that. Thanks, Mom and Dad. And to everyone else who's helped us be who and where we are today. Yes, thank you so much to everyone who has supported us and helped us throughout high school. Whether that be the teachers here at MHS, parents and guardians, siblings, and for some, chat GPT. Let's give them all a huge round of applause. <laughs> now, a reminder for the seniors. You wear your tassel on the right side first, and once everyone has received their diplomas, we will ceremoniously move them to the left side together. But without further ado, let's begin tonight with the national anthem under the direction of Miss Sarah Finn and Mr. Kevin Kleindel. Now, we'd like to introduce our first guest speaker, Minnetonka's superintendent. Macy, did you know that superintendent law actually goes by many names? Really? Mm-hmm. There's Law, David, Davey, The Lawman, Outlaw, and Batman. Shh! That was supposed to be top secret information. He trusted you. Oh, uh, <laughs> I mean, ladies and gentlemen, introducing our very own superhero, Mr. David Law, who goes by that name and definitely only that name. Nice catch. But in all seriousness, please give a warm welcome to our superintendent, Mr. David Law. Thank you. Graduates, you may be seated. Clearly there is no cone of silence or secrecy among the MCs. Good evening. Minnetonka High School class of 2023, it has been my great pleasure, my privilege, to experience Minnetonka schools with you during your senior year. I've had a front view seat to watch you embrace the opportunities this school district provides to learning about how you have forged new pathways with your interests and passions throughout time in Minnetonka, it's been a humbling and powerful experience. Minnetonka doesn't make it easy. I realize that. We have challenged you at times, I'm sure. But I believe, too, we have prepared you 
and we are eager to see what you will accomplish with your lives. Each of you has the unique opportunity to harness your unique strengths and channel them to make the mark on the world. I am proud of each and every one of you. You've traveled. It's been a unique road for you through our school system. You've tackled problems head on. You've persevered when times weren't, when you weren't sure you could keep it going. And you've challenged yourselves and each other to do better. Sorry, the teleprompter died. <laughs> and you have made a difference. That dedication, that drive that got you through high school has prepared you for your next steps that you'll take in life. Whether you'll head off to college, go into the military, go into an apprenticeship, to trade school, take a gap year, or go straight into your career, be confident that your experience, your connections, and your opportunities from your time in Minnetonka will give you strength, courage, and knowledge to thrive. At this time, I'd like to ask you all to stand again, graduating seniors. Turn around and look at those faces in the crowd if you can find your parents' grade. Look in the audience, wave at your family members, your supporters who have been there with you through this journey and who are there with you still. S students, you can sit. Successfully guiding students to where they are tonight is no easy task, mom and dad. As the parent of a graduating senior this year, I know the journey we've been on. Congratulations to you. Students, let's give one more round of applause to your parents, family, and friends. To the class of 2023, as you walk across the stage tonight, know that the path ahead of you has never been walked before. It is your personal journey. Make it a great one. Congratulations and thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Law. Next up, good riddance. Macy, I thought we were having fun up here. No, Saloni, that's the next performance. Good riddance. Hold up, do I say the parentheses? Um, good riddance, parentheses, time of your life, close parentheses, by Green Day, arranged by Aaron Kors, sang by Caleb Hunter, Wilson Lindbergh, Max Perdue, and Luke Rowan. Let's give them a warm welcome.
It's something unpredictable, but in the end it's right. I hope you had the time of your life. Do, 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 do. What an incredible performance from the best quartet. Now, moving on to the student speaker. Student speakers have to be many things. They have to be kind, smart, good looking, charismatic, erudite, big word, well-rounded, and much, much more. Unfortunately, Macy and I were booked for MC, so you're stuck with Jerry for tonight. <laughs> No, but seriously, as someone who has known Jerry for four years and has served on the NHS board with him, I can tell you that he truly does embody these things. And that's why Macy and I are so excited to introduce Jerry. Minnetonka, please give a huge round of applause for your student speaker, Jerry Jong. Friends and family, teachers and staff, thank you all for coming today to celebrate the tremendous accomplishments of Minnetonka High School's Class of 2023. I'm incredibly honored to have the privilege of delivering some opening words before the ceremony, and I promise I won't mention COVID. Do you know what I find interesting? A big portion of this crowd holds vastly more power than the other. Some of us can vote. Some of us, including me, cannot. Some of us are counted as legal adults while the others are still regarded as children. Raise your hand if you're 18. Oh wow. <laughs> Point to someone who isn't raising their hand, stare them dead in the eyes, and tell them, I can legally adopt you. <laughs> in all seriousness, the idea that we magically turn into adults on our 18th birthdays always bothered me. Are we supposed to instantly acquire the ability to file our taxes? Am I somehow supposed to develop a strange fondness for lawn care when the clock strikes midnight? Does the back pain really start that early? As teenagers, we straddle the period of our lives between childhood and adulthood. We are no longer at the age where the furnace is a man-eating demon, yet we still preserve the imaginative creativity of childhood. Gone are the days when we naively proclaimed we would set foot on Mars or win the Olympics or write a best-selling book. Yet the accomplishments we have achieved up until this point are certainly not to be downplayed either. We aren't at the age where it would devastate us to be told that everyone sharing snacks would not be a feasible way to end world hunger. Yet we still don't hesitate to stand up for the causes we believe in are important, no matter how outlandish or unrealistic achieving them may seem. Regardless, what is often dismissed as childish fantasies, innocence, and idealism is the very thing I believe we should clutch onto unwaveringly. Cherish this gift of youth. Be bold. Be ambitious. Think things others don't dare to think. Question things others don't even think to question. Do things others believe are impossible. At the same time, beware the cynicism of age. Beware the little voice in the back of your head telling you that something is stupid or childish. Beware that condescending attitude that chains your imagination. Instead, embrace the childish naivete that believes in true equality no matter what the practical limitations are. The innocence that trusts all people are selfless no matter how the news may make human nature seem. Harness this childlike imagination that slays dragons and vanquishes evil sorcerers. Continue to wonder why the sky is blue and how geckos walk on walls. History is defined by the scientists, philosophers, artists, writers, leaders, and revolutionaries that held onto this steadfast, childish idealism. From Wu Jianxiong, Catherine Johnson, and Marie Curie revolutionizing science in their dauntless pursuits through an otherwise male-dominated field, to this country's founding fathers permanently changing the course of human history with their radical idea that all people are created equal. 
In youthful defiance of the patronizing seniority of the church, Copernicus and Galileo boldly posited that the earth revolved around the sun. Achebe, Soyinka, and Adichie redefined modern Nigerian and West African literature with their unflinching adherence to their forward-thinking ideals. Have faith that the passion and ambition of youth is an unextinguishable flame that can blaze through any path. Think like a kindergartner. Believe that anything and everything is achievable. Believe that our generation will change the world. To everyone here today, including the actual adults, I want to remind you that youth is a mindset. Youth is the excitement to try new things. Youth is all the friendships made in a new workplace or school. Youth is flashing a bright smile at everyone until the whole world is grinning back at you. It's the commitment and dedication to the things you love doing. While we preserve these gifts of childhood, we are also developing the incredible superpowers of adults. We foster our resilience through our growing number of scrapes and bruises, both metaphorical and literal. We cultivate sentimentalism as we begin to form complex and deep relationships with those around us. We expand our repertoire of life experiences to better relate to and understand our peers. I encourage you, class of 2023, to combine these two energies, the imaginative, innocent idealism of childhood and the resilient, sentimental empathy of adulthood. By embodying both, there's truly nothing we cannot accomplish. As graduating seniors, we are approaching an exciting and nerve-wracking stage of our lives. To the future scientists and engineers, boldly uncover the truths of the universe and passionately improve technology to help people around the world. To the future activists, lawyers, politicians, and diplomats, unabashedly fight to change our society for the better. To the future managers, leaders, and entrepreneurs, dream big and make something we never even thought we needed. To the future musicians, performers, artists, and writers, create art and stories that capture the imagination of the world for many years to come. And finally, to the future teachers, doctors, and social workers, do not give up on your infinitely noble cause of helping others. Our society depends on you. To a second grade me, 2023 was a distant year in the far future signifying only an abstract concept, the year in which we would graduate. Yet, here we are. 18 seemed light years away, yet we grew up. No matter how old you are or what you end up doing, always remember to preserve this youthful vigor and optimism, for the heart of a child is purest. Minnetonka, class of 2023, continue to wonder and daydream. Thank you. Thank you for that incredible speech, Jerry. In the spirit of preserving our youth, I want to play a little game. The game is called the Initials Game. Business Analytics Vantage students may be familiar with it. Essentially, I'm going to give Macy here the initials of someone or something, as well as providing her with clues that describe the person. She will then have to guess who the person is. Macy, you ready? I was born ready. We'll see about that. All right, the initials are M-B. M as in magniloquent and B as in bratwurst. Matthew Broderick? Macy, you have to wait for the clues. Plus, our person is way cooler than Matthew Broderick. He doesn't skip school. Okay, now for the clues. He can be seen rollerblading on 62 with his Walkman, received platform shoe inserts from the Vantage class, has been teaching at Minnetonka High School for more than 17 years, and was a JV hockey coach. Oh, it's Matthew Breen! Hey, at least I got the first name right. Took you long enough. Minnetonka, let's give a huge round of applause for our very own Mr. Breen. Good evening. In this profession, we receive countless questions. Some are great, some are terrible. No, I'm not better at slot machines because I teach stats. No, I'm not gonna go to the casino with you. But in the end, 
Few of these questions, whether about content or otherwise, stimulate the mind of a teacher quite like, who is your favorite student? On the surface, of course, the answer to this is that I appreciate you all equally. But in reality, my mind is running in that moment, wanting but not wanting to answer. I've learned over recent years, however, that my answer to this question has been largely shaped by what I have learned as a dad. I'm the father of a third and sixth grader, and I often think about how parenting can help me to become a better teacher, and vice versa. Like teaching, one area that has been particularly intriguing for me as a kid, as my kids have grown, is the notion of playing favorites. Thankfully, over time, it has become apparent to me that I can declare with certainty that I had a moment about four to five years ago when my older son earned the title of my favorite. He was the first to start watching sports with me, playing catch with me, and even started recording stats of video game players, just as I did. Then, however, racing up the outside was my younger son. He often brings the perfect amount of goofiness, asks an abundance of fascinating questions, and shares one of my favorite childhood pastimes of the three-course bedtime snack. While it would be easiest to say that they now and will always share number one, the reality is that since my original declaration, the rankings have turned out to be a revolving door of who sits atop the list. And as this revolving door has played out over recent years, it has become more and more clear to me that this is the answer to the favorite student question. That it truly is ever evolving for every reason you'd hope for as a teacher. In truth, the question is not really about one's favorite student as that could be viewed as more purely academic. What the question really is as a high school teacher is who finds their moment. The moment to be good, be kind, accomplish a task, show you care, or aim to make a positive difference in someone's day. And what I most appreciate about this is that it is always an open competition. The answer is captured by the moments. To provide a snapshot of this thought, press, thought process, let me offer a glimpse into the beginning of my typical week. On Monday morning at 7.05, a student comes in to ask questions about content, showing they care about producing quality work. In that moment, number one. Then at 7.25, another student just happens to show up early and decides to start up a conversation about my weekend, sh simply showing an interest in my life. In that moment, my new number one. Next, a group of students show up at 8.05, technically late for class, but I know they were coming from a morning at Unified Club, making sure all students feel a sense of belonging. They shared the number one spot in that moment. Now, a minute later, when one said he didn't finish our assignment, back down the list he went, 43rd. <laughs> the same routine continues throughout our day. When a student offers to answer a question, another offering up a high five in the hallway, another saying thanks and have a good day when they leave class, and of course, our homecoming king, Colin, offering up his knuckles in the comments. Each of these were instances of a student finding their moment. The amount of time and effort in all these acts varies, but each has their own unique impact. And I've been lucky enough to observe a lot of these acts this year from a very special group of seniors. But through all these actions, there's been one fact that has especially stood out to me. None of them required a student to ace a test, be the smartest, the most athletic, or the most popular. And moving forward, it won't require you to have a certain title or make a lot of money. Finding your moment is one of the few things in life that presents a virtually even playing field every morning when you wake up. I learned this year that this would likely frustrate some of you since it would be very difficult to bet on. But consider how unique this is. What a chance each day to find your moment. And if you are left thinking that this is still a result of opportunity, or what you have done in the long term, I want you to consider a pair of stories that have had a significant impact on me. As a big sports fan who used to want to own as many sports jerseys in my childhood as I could, there's a single athlete who inspired me to buy my lone jersey in adult life. About 10 years ago, I purchased a Joe Maurer Twins jersey. My interest in doing so was inspired not by baseball, but by a story I, some of you have perhaps heard. As a senior at Creighton Durham Hall High School, Maurer walked by a student who was sitting alone at a lunch table and happened to have a physical disability. Maurer asked the student to join him at his lunch table. As the story goes, the student was never alone again. Now athletically, Maurer was absolutely not on an even playing field, being drafted first overall by the Twins, passing on a scholarship to play quarterback at Florida State. But as a person, he woke up that morning with the same chance as all his peers in that lunchroom to find that moment. 
This story reached an even deeper meaning for me just over a month ago. On a Friday afternoon in late April, I opened up my email to the following message from my nine-year-old son's teacher. Quote, just wanted to pass along something neat that happened during lunch today. A classroom parasite happened and made sure to tell me right away. One of Graham's classmates was sitting alone at a table and eating by himself. When he saw this, he got up, went over to the, went over to the other table and sat with the boy to keep him company. In that moment, he had a pretty good run at number one on my list. And as a parent, I can only hope I'm living with another Joe Maurer. And if he happens to play some baseball along the way, well, that would just be a bonus. To me, this represents the most important factor about finding your moment. One of the best athletes to ever grow up in this state, and a nine-year-old boy whose goal each day is to reach the end of YouTube, making a similar choice when given that opportunity to find their moment. Now that is an even playing field. I hope you see this beauty in what lies ahead for you. Every day is made up of countless ways to find your moment, to bring positivity to someone's day. I want you to consider the many ways to do so. Kind, selfless acts are only the beginning. Moving forward, you may accomplish this by making someone laugh, being polite, encouraging, curious, accountable, accepting, inclusive, empathetic, or simply giving your parent or one day your child a hug and saying I love you, amongst so much else. Each and every day, you have the chance to be a star in someone's eyes by finding your moment. You are all capable of making this choice. Life may get in the way of it being all of you every day as it certainly has for me, but that does not mean the choice is not still on the table for you an hour from now, tomorrow, or the next day. I'm left to only hope that what I've, observed, what I've observed this year is a sign of things to come, a signal that this class will find your moment to make the day of a friend, a coworker, a stranger, or simply someone in need of support in that time. I challenge, a challenge, excuse me, I sincerely hope you view this as a challenge, a challenge to spread this mindset so broadly that you can show what being a graduate of Minnetonka High School represents. A class 890 strong, determined to make us all proud to be skippers. When these moments occur to bring positivity to someone's day, be the betting favorite. Be the one who people come to expect will do something special, big or small. And know that if you miss the last opportunity, that holds no weight on you taking advantage of the next one. You are all capable. After all, I'm simply talking about the type of act that a professional athlete and a nine-year-old boy are equally capable of accomplishing. Find your moment and make it a habit to do so. I can only hope you will. Class of 2023, I've truly appreciated this opportunity. It's been an absolute honor. I wish you the very best moving forward. Be good and be kind. Thank you. Thank you so much for that amazing speech, Mr. Breen. Oh, shoot, Saloni, look at the time. We have got to get a move on. Every minuet counts. She listens to Beethoven one time, and this is what happens. Speaking of music, our choir will now sing a song under the direction of Miss Finn, Mr. Kleindl, and Mr. Aaron Kors. No relation to Michael. They will be accompanied by the symphony orchestra and wind ensemble. Let's give them a huge round of applause.
wonderful performance. Our next speaker is, shoot, Macy, help me out. He's the guy that wrote The Power of Five, he played Yoda in a few independent films, and he's the fearless leader of Minnetonka High School. Oh, I've got it. It's Mr. Erickson. Ding, ding, ding. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Minnetonka High School's coolest principal, Mr. Jeff Erickson. Good evening, parents, family, friends, and staff, and of course, the exceptional class of 2023 to the most important event of the year. Seniors, you've been waiting for this moment for a long time. In just a few more moments, you will walk across the stage, you will shake and take, very good, and you'll come down these steps, and the moment I've been waiting for, which is to shake your hand and congratulate you. Class of 2023, I am proud of you. There are thousands and thousands and thousands of people in this stadium who share this same feeling and have been cheering you on for years. I'm in awe of each of you, what you've accomplished and what you've done. Over the four years, I've had many, many conversations. Tonight is the final time and I'm honored to do so and humbled. So seniors, reflecting in my message tonight, I've decided it's time to come clean about a few items with you. Matters that have weighed heavily on my mind for some time, and it's time to clear the air and set the record straight. So I'm glad you're seated. First, 
the snow button. It's really just a, nope, I can't go there. That truth could end my principalship, so I'm gonna have to go on to the next topic. Second topic, there is no virtual parking ramp at Minnetonka High School. As far as I can share, we have no plans to build one. As long as I'm at it, there's no monorail petting zoo either. I'm sorry for those who have circled a lot, as it was just a dream. A footnote, I would say, it has served me well. I do receive frequent inquiries about parking at MHS, and I respond. We're very excited about this new virtual ramp. This answer usually leaves people pondering my response just long enough for me to leave the conversation. Just a little leadership tip. Seniors, my final clearing of the air is going to take a few minutes. And it's about what was referred to most recently as the most popular book that people have not read. Others have said a book that's cover is so compelling and stunning that they don't even need to open it. A book that has revolutionized and transformed the lives of thousands of high school students and beyond merely by the title and a Beyond 140 episode. However, embarrassed to say tonight, seniors, I share to you tonight, The Power of Five is nothing more than a book cover. Sadly, it's missing just one critical element, content. I know this may come as a shock to you, particularly those who have actually purchased the book. Life is a series of mistakes, and tonight I'm going to correct that one by filling in those missing pages. So let's get started. Chapter one. First, the most powerful, most evident and well-known virtues of the Power of Five is the importance of arriving early and the life-altering impact of doing so. As MHS seniors, you know the impact of arriving five minutes early on occasion to something at school. This decision could usually translate to prime parking, usually in a volunteer spot or a visitor spot. It also could translate into a nice warm slice of banana bread or a spot in one of the most comfortable booths in the commons that mysteriously disappeared during the winter. All of this goodness from the decision to arrive five minutes early. Friends, remember, if you are early, you're on time. If you're late, I'm sorry, if, you're, if, if you arrive early, you're on time. If you arrive on time, you're late. And if you're late, there's nothing the Power Five can do for you. Half the battle in life is simply showing up and being present whether for your schooling, work, or for your friends and family. Seniors, it is more than just arriving early. It's being present in the moment, being where your feet are. Never are there more things that can grab your attention, from apps, tools, Netflix episodes, that can distract you. Let the power of five mean the power of being in the moment as not to miss things. Your ability to lock in and be present will allow you to avoid missing what matters the people. Experience life through your own eyes, not through the lens of your phone. When all is said and done, people may or may not remember the words you speak, but they'll remember you being present. Second chapter in the Power of Five is how you spend and start the first, in fi first five minutes of the day and end the last five minutes. Seniors, how do you wake up? I've learned over time how you start your day matters. A couple years ago, I wrote about the importance of taking care of yourself before you can take care of others. I have to say that lesson took me over 20 years to figure out, as a full disclaimer. Over the years, you will continue to find different pulls on your time, and the pace of life will only continue to accelerate. I have often said, long days, short years. As such, what I've learned is how you start those first five minutes of your day whether it be exercise and reflecting, not looking at your phone right away, will shape and transform how your day proceeds and help you get into the right mindset. Lastly, how do you spend your last five minutes of your day? Is it a chance for gratitude, to reflect on the positives, and a chance to slow down? The impact of Chapter 2 will lead you to better health, happiness, and what I've seen as a class, you are optimistic and positive in face of all challenges. I close the power of five with the power of humor and laughter. Michael J. Fox, for those not knowing, this was a hit, hit TV show in the 80s and many movies back to the future, in a recent interview talked about this power, the ability to communicate through laughter. Fox shared, we found a way to communicate with you that you didn't expect 
that all you did was make a simple noise, laughter. Humor that produces genuine laughter is one of the most important gifts you can use to spread joy and hope for others. The impact of humor is profound. It breaks attention, allows for the power of pause, and provides relief. This class, you, the class of 2023, 2023, has had tremendous humor. Just this week, out in senior serve, I saw groups determining whether this was a potato plant or a weed, or some being attacked by a hula hoops with energetic kindergartners. You've been a class that has laughed, you've made me laugh. Do not lose your sense of humor. So if you are doing the math right now in the audience, you've realized I've only given you three chapters of the Power Five. I simply cannot give everything away, otherwise you'll not click buy on Amazon. I, hope you, I appreciate you taking the news in stride about this news of Power Five and hope it doesn't change our relationship. Know that these powers of being present with the people around you, are take, take, people around you taking care of yourself and laughing are all the key elements of the Power Five. Know that the people around you matter, the relationships matter, and you've got to take your time to be present, which of course is the biggest gift of all. You saw the video on our senior day and I aired it before the program today, and it makes me so nostalgic in the fall of 2019. We're all in the East Gym. And I ask you, what will your legacy be at MHS? It is now set. And you did so by stellar leadership and by the example you set for everyone in the school. It is one of kindness, humor, creativity, curiosity, respect, and inclusivity. There is a rule in life to leave a place better than you found it, and you have done so, class of 2023. I'm filled right now with so many emotions, most of all just simple happiness for you, and grateful beyond words to have had a chance to be part of your story at Minnetonka High School. It is with overwhelming pride and honor I say to you, the class of 2023, well done and congratulations. Thank you. A little bit of water before the next part. We will now recognize the class of 2023. This is a moment you have been waiting for. Shake and take. I want to thank everyone for attending tonight. With a special thanks to the parents and families for all your support these past years and your unwavering care and commitment to our students. I want to acknowledge the staff that's here tonight and your commitment every single day to serve our students. Now, tonight, we understand the immense pride and happiness you're feeling at this moment, as I just expressed. For some, it just may be too difficult to harness that enthusiasm. However, on behalf of the graduates and the Minnetonka High School, I ask you to respect the formal nature of the ceremony and help us make it as dignified and respectful as possible. So, this is the moment, this is the official statement. Members of the cabinet, Superintendent Law, members of the school board, on behalf of the teaching staff at Minnetonka High School, I certify the following diploma candidates have met all of the requirements outlined by both the state of Minnesota and the Minnetonka School District for participation in this ceremony. Congratulations, class of 2023. With that, name readers I will, and board members, we will get started. Congratulations. Cece Asim. Medina Abasova. Dania Abdallah. Hassan Abdi. Hussein Abdi. Zaid Abdul Field. Aisha Abduwali. Parker Adam. Allison Adamick, Adele Adams, 
Joseph Adams, Lujain Ahmed, Mohammed Ahmed, Reagan Alleman, Bryce Alexander, Chloe Elpa, Summer Bradell, Colin Purnell, Nell Allen, Tyson Allen, Jack Allenberg, Oz Alto Peterson, Riley Elverd, L. Oniker. Hannah Anderla, Annalisa Anderson, Emma Anderson, Luke Anderson, Noah Anderson, Aubrey Barton, Sierra Anderson, Carter Hicks. William Anderson. Zaria Anderson. Ellie Anloff. Francisca Artega. Owen Ashoff. Sydney Ashoff. Reed Asplund, Joy Audio, Leslie Alvalis Blanco, Tobias Bars, Lily Babenroth, Jacob Byers, Barbara Bailey, Lauren Baines, Matilda Bach, Ashlyn Baker. Tavita Bakti Yerzoda, Charles Balbach, Mia Banks, Natalia Barbieri, Barbieri, Enzo Bar Barriotto Siech, Maggie Barrett, Marley Barrett, Aiden Bartz, Megan Becker. Christopher Bellhouse, Amit Ben Harush, Charles Bendel, Christopher Bendry, Logan Benick, Piper Benning, Kate Burchild, Alana Berlin, Katrina Burnick, Cole Berwanger, Camille Bayon, <laughs> Millie Byersdorf, Lauren Botts, Rowan Bickett, William Jackson Blanks, Evan Bloomberg, Aaron Bodger, Aiden Bully, Riley Bamer, Leo Boim, Grant Bongard, Sawyer Booten, William Vorchart, Sean Bradburn, Jack Paul Brockmeyer, David Brandt, Dylan Braun, Adam Bravo, Lucy Breckamer, Nicholas Breitling, Elise Brunt Brunton, Ella Bricker, <laughs> Sylvia Bridge, Kate Briesemeister, 
Saria Broadbent, Sydney Bruns, Randolph Burnett, Matthew Bundy, Lydia Burchill, Benjamin Burns, Audrey Burton, Elvira Burtis, Amelia Bussey, Eileen Kava, Tootie Cade, Jalen Kane, Jack Callanan, Keely Campisano, Elena Cantwell, Marcus Carlson, Sierra Carroll, Sean Carroll, Isabel Shaven, Sanakshi Chauhun, Ethan Chen, Michael Sherian, Emily Chernick, Anna Cherry Holmes, Katrina Cherry Holmes, Jason Chun, Chun, Alexander Chirigos, Aiden Chong, Peter Chacho, Vito Ciola, Sophia Calais, Lola Clayton, Aaron Cleary, Max Click, Caitlin Coffey, Grace Coleman, Colin Colgan, Emma Collins, Grace Conley, Marin Conrad, Nathan Copa, Mia Copeland, Nathan Corey, Caitlin Corkery, Megan Corkery, Aaron Corpus, Isaiah Corpus, Jesus Carell, Whitney Cowan, Helena Kramer, Ruby Cranbrook, Nathaniel Crane, Evan Crawford, Ethan Criswell, Marnie Crittenden, Ariel Christian Cueco, Antonella Curry, Hannah Dahl, Lynn, Virginie Damask, Shomik Das, Chloe Dahl, Reese Dawson, Aaron Debris, Dylan Demules, Andrew Denhart, Christina Desmet, Javier Diaz Schultz, Addison Dieterle, Emma Dill, Leo Dirks, Elena Dodd, Brock Dodds, Claire Dolan, Liam Dorn, Eileen Doseph, Audrey Doughton, Brendan Doughty, Kara Doyle, Eric Dubele, Brianna Duffy, Jared Duncombe, <laughs> Monroe Dunbar, <laughs> Hope Durenberger, Tegan Dvorak, Dakota Eggert, Ryan Eichelberger, Zachary Eisenman, Jacob Ekstrand, Ibrahim Elamine, Malik Eldashuri, Michael Eldridge, Emma Elderstein, Madeline Elliott, Selwa Elmi, Mia Evancrog, 
Morgan Engelhart. Connell, Connor Ingholm. Mackenzie Ezra, Ezraf. Charlotte Erickson. Livy Erickson. Lydia Erickson. Paige Erickson. Catherine Erickson. True Espinoza. Margaret Evanrude. Autumn Eversman. Caitlin Everson. Isabella Idell. Griffin Fanning. Ermius Fair. Jacob Farrell. Caitlin Farrell. Nathan Faster. Kate Feist. Samuel Fellner. Marlena Fenton. Grace Fernandez. Callie Fiddler. Brendan Fiedler. Madeline Fiedler. Hannah Fedor. Lily Furcus. Angelina Fisher. Gavin Fitch. Elizabeth Fleming. Lauren Fliggy. Thaddeus Floor. Sasha Fogel. Gwyn Ford. Julius Ford. Brock Fosling. Isabel Fossing. Clara Foster. Jack Frame. Kendra Franzen. Gwendolyn Franklin. Kate Frazier, Owen Frick, Carter Fries, Gabriella Frothinger, Michaela Fry, Spencer Funk, Paige Gabbert, Elijah Gosheru, Grace Gaffney, Sofia Gajewska, Nicholas Gamel, Chase Garcia, Judah Gardner, Naum Garrido Blanco, Lucia Gavin, Molly Geldert, David Gendler, Hunter German, James Gerkink, Gwyneth Gibson, Samuel Gibson, Emma Gilbert, Annika Gilbertson, Mac Gilbertson, Nicholas Gillis, Sophia Gilliam, Colton Gleason, Michaela Goman, Andrew Galechka, Spencer Gongol, Alexander Gonickman, Riley Gonzalez, Juan Pablo Gonzalez Villaseca, Jackson Gould, Roman Gracia, Mia Granger, Avery, Avery Greeley, Henry Gregerson, Nicholas Griffin, Amelie Grund, Thomas Grund, Caden Gressing, Jacob Gugisberg, Lila Gilde, Cosmo Guion, Haley Guptail, Kieran Holland, Mason Hagen, Abdirahim Heba, Amelia Hajar, Tyron Hallman, Declan Halloran, Sydney Hamry, 
Elijah Hansen, Ethan Hansen, Soren Haroldson, Baden Harry, Emily Harstead, Adeline Hatzung, Owen Hedberg, Wyatt Hedrick, Julian Habe, Madeline Heiler, Madeline Heim, Ava Heine, Cecilia Heinen, Hillary Heights, Josie Hemp, Liam Henderson, Morgan Hendricks, Ian Henschel, Sophia Herman, Lindsay Hernandez, Olivia Hernandez, Megan Heyman, Jack Hickey, Elena Hicks, Sophia Hilgenberg, Karen Hill, Lucy Hiller, Sophia Hillis, Claire Hirsch, Lily Hislop, Parker Hitchcock, Jager Holasek, Karis Holland, Grace Holtz, Ryan Holzer, Leahy Hooten, Piper Hoppy, Patrick Horner, Alexa Host, Abigail Howe, Adelaide Howland, Sasha Shu, Vaughn Hughes, John Holtgren, Caleb Hunter, Liam Hubka, Francis Huso, Henny Ibrahim, Kosar Ibrahim, Ben Ingersoll, Galatia Inthra Intharath, Anastasia Isbell, Megan Ishi, Seth Iverson, Braden Jack, Isabella Jacobs, Andrew Jacobson, Jay James, Alex James, Aiden Gendro, Jillian Jensen, Boletta Jepson, Cameron Jerdy, Brady Johansson, Sarah Johnson, Abigail Johnson, Bjorn Johnson, Bradley Johnson, Daniel Johnson, Isaac Johnson, Jana Johnson, Lauren Johnson, Lindsay Johnson, William Johnson, Alexander Jones, Isabel Jones, Emma Yurgachi, Georgia Jorgensen, Megan Jurgens, Lydia Kosai, Lily Camrath, Aline Jude, Ruby Mae Carrison, Emma Karbowski, Maya Carrick, Leo Kaufman, Elise Keenan, Amelia Kihayas, Michaela Kennedy, Charles Kinsicki, Tegan Kerber, Ian Caroro, Madi Kamsay, 
Samira Hasanova, Shamir Kawaja, Myra Karana, Beckett Bond Keitlinger, Mirbella Kilner, Elias King, Brianna Kinney, Reagan Kitt, Jenna Klein, Ellie Kleppinger, Michael Close, Ingrid Knutson, Jack Kochavar, Abigail Kanan, Bergen Cohentoff, Miles Cook, Eva Colbo, Catherine Kampf, Isabella Konat, Eli Kotlarts, Owen Cravi, Lucy Kramer, Clarence Krampitz, Maxwell Kreb Krebsbach, Nicholas Kusherenko, Christopher Keen, Luke Kuzar, Avery Custer, Nicholas Lacourse, Nina Lati, Caitlin Lai, Noel Lakend, Charlie Lambert, Thomas Lambert, Brianna Lamir, Joel Landstrom, Graham Lant, Annika Lang, Rowan Langinga, Bowden Larson, Joseph Larson, Natalie Larson, Parker Larson, Sophia Larson, Camdry Lassie, Claire Lawson, Ella Lawson, Grace Lee, Noah Lee, Skyla Lee, Eli Lego, Adam Lester, Savannah Link, Nora Lescarbo, Bryce Lezinski, Ada Latender. Caden Lewis. Vivian Lewis. Samantha Lee. Catherine Liebert. Kariana Lian. Wilson Lindberg. Jaden Lindemann. Francis Lindgren. Ava Lindsay. Sophia Lindsay. Veda Link. Jack Lewinsky. Ginevra Loper. Sam Luaji. Samantha Luaji. James Lund. Martina Lutschwager. Grant Lutz. Priscilla Lutz. Darren Ma. Victoria McFarlane. Michael McNamara. Natalie Madalena. Annabelle Madsen. Gabriella Mallory. Mallorette. 
Jordy Malaret. Ryan Malley. Gabrielle Malvo. Davon Mann. Katherine Manning. Kylie Manos. Bella Moret. Jackson Marshman. Lucas Martin. Reese Martin. Ruby Martin. William Martin. Matthew Mason. Mei Ling Mother. Jackson Mavius. Charlie Mays. Pierce Mayrose. Jacob McCalla. Jack McCallie. Jacob McCuskey. Adam McFall. Isaac McFall. Riley McGannon. Madeline McGinty. Ava McKenzie. Carmen McLaren. Chloe McLaren. Cole McLaughlin. Jack McMillan. Emily McNeil. Evelyn McNeil. Tanner McPherson. Emilia Metsukaite. Sophia Mentis. Ariel Merfeld. Sophia Merzaklova. Benjamin Meyer. Caden Meyer. Calais Michelson. Jameson Michaels. Quinton Midbo. Aiden McKennis. Luke Miller. Beckett Melota. Ratoja Misra. James Mellon. Sydney Morrill. Munira Mohammed. Amadia Molina Larson. Garrett Malter Kirsch. Owen Monge. Lily Monson. Julie Moore. Mariah Moorhead. Akshata Morthy. Maya Moore. Anne Marie Moreland. Nicholas Morris. Merlin Morton. Jacob Moss. Bo Motzko. Devon Moy. Mia Mudrick. Graham Munch. Owen Mullenbach. Sophia Murphy. Jack Namey. Sierra Nash. Gavin Netches. Andrew Nelson. Anthony Nelson. Ava Nelson. Kaiser Nelson. Kylie Nelson. Luke Nelson. Adansuk Nepanis Isvanavong. 
Anna Nodsley. Kayla Northway. Kira Northway. Miles Novachis. Emanuela Ntambi. Isabel O'Brien. John O'Brien. Sabrina O'Brien. Lavina Obeng. Ethan Odie. Haley Ogle. Claire O. Nicholas Olaniel. Elaine Olson. Evan Olson. Nicholas Olson. Peyton Olson. Ryan Olson. Jordan Oppegard. Alexandra Ortega Ho. Juan Ortiz Morales. Jonathan Osi. Joel Osterhus. Joy Otiano. Elizabeth Otteson. Precious Otto. Roy Page. Ruby Pajibo. Maxwell Palmer. Anthony Papas. Serenia Perunda. Perudo. Daniel Pasqua. Eva Patti. Benjamin Peck. Hayden Pedersen. Maxwell Pedersen. Devin Peltier. Grace Penhollow. Ella Paulson. Nelson Penegroth. Michael Peralta. Maxwell Perdue. Guillerme. Peraya Apolinari, uh, Apil, Apolinario. Alice Peremislav. Julian Perkins. Aiden Peterson. Aliyah Peterson. Brett Peterson. Jade Peterson. Kai Peterson. Sean Peterson, Zach Peterson, Jacqueline Pejman, Carly Peffer, Henry Peffer, Thomas Pfeffer, Zico Pham, Kelsey Phillips. Ariana Pidrahita. Ali Peluski. David Piper. John Piper. Lucas Poey. William Poey. Martin Poppin Fierro. Luis Portillo Torcat. Elena Petraski. Maddie Pradzinski. Sophia Pradzinski. Caden Pru. Elise Podwell. Derek Puzak. Sophia Quackenbush. Emma Quam. Jenny Kwan. Thomas Radebach. Justin Radel. Avery Rafferty. Cooper Reichert. 
Kushimba Rajashankar. Shreya Ramraj. Macy Ramston. Prathul Rao. Lucas Rasmussen. Veronica Raymond. Stefan Reddington. Josephine Radetsky. Patrick Redmond. Isabella Reese. Alexandra Reichstadt. Kira Reinhardt. Charlotte Retan. Amy Renchen. Theodore Ray. Maggie Rhodes. Benjamin Rebar. Bodie Richard. Owen Richmond. Nathan Richter. Adam Rickman. Zachary Rieger. Emily Robb. Jacob Roberts. Lauren Roberts. Sophia Roberts. Micaiah Robinson. Owen Robinson. <coughs> Lucas Temi Orsha da Silva. Talia Rodich. Alisa Rodianova. Giuliano Rosner. Maria Rogers. Holly Rawlings. Amanda Rolseth. Charles Rook. Noah Rose. Joseph Rosenstein. Benjamin Rosewarn. Elise Rova. Luke Rowan. Nicholas Rowan. Ella Rush. Lauren Rusing. Tenley Rutledge. Anton Rutten. Thomas Sabo. William Sadowski. Grace Sadura. Jocelyn St. Louis. Clara Saint Prats. Joshua Sajedi. Zeus Sajedi. Jack Salo. Lily Salyards. Rehan Samir. Keelan Samson Gary. Jack Sand. Colby Sanders. Ethan Sanders. Jack Scanlon. Lily Schaefer. Alex Scher. Madeline Schenk. Caleb Shimke. Julia Shiny. Maxwell Shizzle. Miles Schaeffler. Ella Schlang. Brady Schlopkohl. Abigail Schmidt. Mateo Schneider. Taylor Schneider. Kevin Sheck. De Devin Schroeder. Emma Schrader. Benjamin Schuby. Kate Schulenberg. Milo Schulting. Ivy Schultz. Madeline Schultz. 
Benjamin Schuster. Tegan Schwantes. Julia Schweiger. Ava Scott. Benjamin Scott. Victoria Seely. Sarah Shabazz. Kelly Shaw. Bryn Shedd. Leah Shedd. Quinn Shepard. Elisaveta Schliomina. Liliana Shortridge. Liam Schutz. Matthew Siegwart. Ryan Sinegar. Allison Sinekin. Dylan Sinekin. Claudia Sitt. Luke Sk Scribseth. Hannah Smarillo. Annalise Smith. Ella Smith. Abby Sibersky. Soham Sodi. Saloni Somia. Linus Sorkin. Alexa Sorley. Jennifer Shoba. Mia Spano Ibrahim. Ruby Spargo. Brooke Scarda. Isabella Snow. Caden Squires. Julia Cernick. Alyssa Stahl. Hayden Stampson. Tatum Sturita. Mitchell Stauber. Hannah Steinkraus. Thomas Stevenson. Anna Stewart. Aiden Stivers. Donald Stoltz. Alexandra Stone. Winona Stone. Braden Stortz. Ava Stowe. Eli Stryker. Addison Stroh. Isabel Stroh. Maria Struble. Lily Studensky. Burke Sullivan. Lauren Sundry. <laughs> Caitlin Sweat. Kylie Sweat. Ann Sween. Nevin Switz. Nima Tajik. Mia Tasani. Ethan Tikaver. Lauren Terry. Paige Terry. Sophia Turvo. Madeline Tesnes. Samuel Thibodeau. Nora Thiss. Cameron Thompson. Karam Tosin. Catherine Tran. Grace Triwatha. Benjamin Trin. Katriana Trin. Jacob Truex. Isabella Truccio. Sophia Tucker. Arimatu Tull. Claire Tungseth. Lillian Tunks. McKenna Tuthill. Henry Tuttle. Lucia Uchuriuno. Kadev Udapa. Miles Underhill. Griffin Unger. Mary Van Eckout. Ray Vaughn. 
Lita Vega. Peter Velgersdijk. Noah Viam. Joseph Vigor. Varun Viswanathan. Mary Vidura. Julia Vladimirov. Noah Volbrecht. Manuela Fonsitowicz Kapuro. Matthew Voss. Anya Vukovic. Anna Marie Walker. Charles Waldron. Lauren Walker. Ella Wander. Grace Wander. April Wong. Austin Wong. Annie Warner. Logan Warren. Ada Watson. Faith Watts. Reagan Way. Abigail Weber. Catherine Wiedis. Erica Weeks. Lauren Wyke. Allison Weinberg. Jackson Well. Lindsay Welsh. Macy Wenning. Nicolette Wentland. Evan Wenzel. Max Westerland. William Wheaton. Grace Wisnant. Maisie Wilkin. Grace Wilker. Isaac Wilkie. Owen Wilkinson. Nola Willenzek. Sophia Willette. Andrew Williams. Augustus Williams. Luke Williams. Henry Wilson. Tyler Winkler. Alexander Wittenberg. Atna Whitman. Ella Wolf. Jasmine Wong. Jackson Woodley. Gregory Woods. Charles Woody. Bennett Worry. Nex Wyatt. Rebecca Young. Layla Yeshaya. Catherine Yetka. Joey Young. Nigel Yu. Olivia Yusufzade. Khalid Yusuf. Sadie Zarwell. Ava Zavagil. Alexandra Zidania. Cynthia Zhang. Jerry Zhang. Annie Zhao. L. Zebarth. Jacob Zils. Marie Zissus. Andrew Zubkov. And Dana Zucker.
gonna get on that stool there. Congratulations, everyone. We've made it. It is now time to ceremoniously move our tassels to the opposite side to symbolize our graduation. That's right. If you don't move your tassel, you have not officially graduated in the eyes of the school and your diploma will later be confiscated. What's that? Okay, we're getting word that that's not true, but you might want to participate just in case. All right. Everyone, move your tassel to the left side on three. One, One two, two, three. three. To celebrate our tassel move and graduation, the concert choir selections will now sing the Choral Benediction by Peter Lutkin and continue a Minnetonka High School tradition that has been going on since 1952. Tonka, let's welcome our very own concert choir. much for that wonderful performance. All right, before we do the cap toss, we wanted to quickly say thank you to MHS, Starbucks, Wikipedia, Celsius, and Notability for making this possible. And we also wanted to do one of Mr. Erickson's famous point fives with everyone. Okay, we're gonna see if we can make this work. Alrighty. No. No? <laughs> All right, everyone, smile. All right, one of those should have worked. Yeah, let's hope one of them worked. <laughs> now for the countdown and the words you've all been looking forward to for the past four years. Cap toss on class dismissed. Three, two, one. Class, class dismissed! dismissed!